New information tonight about the murder of a Grandview Heights mother. Police now say they have several people they're looking at, and they say one of them used to be extremely close to the victim. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Kristen Hartman. And I'm Jerry Revish. Well, agents with the Bureau of Criminal Investigation collected evidence from a duplex on Northwest Boulevard tonight. That's about a half mile from where Jennifer Cook's body was found inside her Wood Hill Drive apartment. 10 TV's Justin Moss live in Grandview Heights this hour. Justin, whose home did they search tonight? Well, Jerry, this home here belongs to Jennifer Cook's ex-husband. Grandview Police and BCI investigators searched the home for a couple of hours. Tonight, we are also learning more about the investigation into Jennifer Cook's death. Tonight, there was no answer here at the home of Jennifer Cook's ex-husband, even though he'd just returned minutes before after being questioned by police. Police say they searched his Northwest Boulevard home for anything connecting him to Cook. We learned tonight police removed some evidence from his house, but they aren't saying what they took. Authorities said Cook was stabbed to death. She was found Sunday night inside her Grandview Heights home, the first murder in the city in 13 years. Police are calling Cook's ex-husband a person of interest in her death and say they've questioned him several times. Police add there are other persons of interest who they are not naming. From the beginning, police have called Cook's murder an isolated incident, and they don't believe the community is in any danger. Now, we are not naming the ex-husband but police because police have not called him a suspect, just a person of interest. Now, we left a message for his attorney tonight, but have not heard back. So far, no one has been charged in this case. Reporting live in Grandview tonight, Justin Moss, 10TV News.